Nau mai hoki mai ki Warren Fitness. Ki kino rawa tā mātou taenga whakamutunga ki te whare hoko kai. Nō reira, kei te hoki atu a Craig Rawa ko Paura ki te rapu i ngā kai tika. What's your drinks? What do you reckon? Nah, no good, bro. Smell as good or cheap as water. Yeah, right. For a healthy functioning body, you need eight glasses of water per day. And you can do this by carrying around a bottle of water with you everywhere you go. Nice, cauliflower. Cheap and good for you. You get a bag of apples, eh? Two yeah, kilos, five dollars. Yep. 1.5 kgs, $1.99, that's cheap as. For tea, we're making mince stir fry tonight. We'll probably need some spring onions. We've got the carrots. We'll need some onions. And what else? Well, we shouldn't make a salad to go with as well, so we'll get some lettuce and some tomatoes. Yeah, okay, right on. Maybe some mushrooms, chuck in the stir fry as well. Oh, you get the salad, I'll get the others. Okay. All right. Awesome, yummy. Before you go to the supermarket, plan your meals by writing a list. That way you can stick to your budget. They look good, eh? Mmm. You get some bananas, eh? Yeah, right, eh? Some butter, white cabbage. Start your day with a healthy breakfast. Things like wheat mix, porridge, and brown toast. Use some low-fat milks. It'll give you energy and help you last during the day. Buying in bulk can be cheaper and healthier. Just got to be careful of the amount of sugar in some of these items. Go for good old porridge. Just like our ancestors used to eat. Bro, right, look at all this primo kwamwana. Aye, aye. Prawns, scallops, flounder. It's actually real fun if you go and catch it yourself, though. Yeah, much cheaper too. Look at this, 20 bucks a kilo for salmon. Hey, I know what, we'll go and, we'll go and check out the canned food section, eh? Canned tuna, might be a little bit cheaper. Same nutrients. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, here we go, look at all this fish. This is what we're looking for, but um, which one do we choose? There's so many different options. What we want to do is we want to get tuna that is in spring water or water, and not in oil. This way it's lower in fat, which means it's better for us. Yeah, it's good for the semis too. It's great for the semis. Awesome. And it's a hell of a lot cheaper than buying it fresh. That would probably be a healthier option than that, bro. Yeah, I know. You could, you could almost still use that, bro, if you cut, if you cut the fat off. Yeah. You know, when you think about it, you're paying, you're paying for the weight of the fat as well. Yeah. Anyway, but no, you're right. If you're even just looking at that, you can tell it's a little bit healthier, eh? That's right. Not it's so much price. excess fat. You're not paying for bones either. Not paying for bones. All right, we'll grab that, eh? Okay. You can either buy skinless chicken, well, reasonably low in fat, quite expensive. One, one other way, one simple way to get around it is you can buy the chicken with the skin on, simply peel it off before cooking, okay? Cheaper way to go. Tapa here, i mua i te tunu. Tapa here te henu mai te miti. Tango here te kiri o te heihei. I nga tango koe i te kai i mua i te tunu, kare hoki e taia e koe te kai au wa henu. E ngari, i nga tunu ka reka, koe nga ka pirangi koe ki aia. So all these foods are great source of calcium and great in moderation, good for kids' lunches, that sort of thing. Which is the best brand though? Well, I think you have to be careful with these. Some products have light written on them, they're not actually any lower in energy. So we, we need to be able to have a look at the amount of fat and sugar in them. Yeah, Make sure cool. we get a, a healthy option. Yeah, this looks good. pretty good, eh? Yep. Alright, let's go. Now the milk. Light blue, or a green, or even the yellow for extra calcium. What do you reckon? Yeah, definitely good. So what about spreads? Well, when choosing spreads, try and keep away from the saturated fat and the butter. Move to something a bit more like this. Um, it's light, it's lower in saturated fat, better for us all around. Hey, and just another point, just because it's more expensive doesn't make it any more healthier for us. As a rule, the softer the cheese, the higher in saturated fat it is, so you want to go for a nice firm cheese. Edam's not a bad drop. Compare the prices, look at your labels, um, but I think you'll find that Edam's the way to go. Chips? No, no uh, chips. They're no good. Full of no fat, good. full of salt. What are they going to do? Just plug up your arteries. No, nah, they're no good. Got some herbs here, bro. This is a great way to get rid of salt in your diet. Oh, right. A lot, uh, a lot of New Zealanders are consuming too much salt and it leads to um, heart problems. So one way to get, to get rid of it is to use all sorts of different types of herbs and spices. Some tips to help you reduce salt in your diet. Don't eat takeaways so often. Reduce the amount of processed foods you're eating and don't put salt on the table. If you want to add extra flavour, add some herbs and spices instead. Yeah. Oh, the corned beef and spam section. That's probably the section we want to see people keep walking past, eh? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
Good old brown rice. Good old brown rice. Good old baked beans. High in carbohydrates and fiber. Very good source of energy for tin tomatoes. We could chuck this in the stir fryer. Good sort yeah, of yeah. filler. Yeah, cheap. Tomatoes are good. Fills cheap. meals out. Yeah. Good awesome. way to hide vegetables from the kids. Yeah. Another good filler. The old chili beans, bro. Mild, medium. Good old olive oil. Great for the heart. A little bit expensive, though. Eh? There must be a, there must be something else that we can use. A good alternative could be, say, canola oil. Yeah. Just much cheaper. Much cheaper. Just Still as good, good for, for you. The heart. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Awesome. We'll take that then. Yep. Another way to help decrease the amount of oil you're getting into your diet is to grab a spray instead. Oh, yeah, that good way you don't use as much. That's us. Sweet. Avoid the cremelter at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> Even if Nana uses it in fry bread. Look, bro, 94 cents brown bread. No, I am interested. Can't go wrong. Five lashes for five bucks. A lot of these snacks marketed as kids, like the snacks, music yeah, bars, roll-ups, roll -ups, yeah, they're all right. very, very high in sugar. So you've got to be very careful when when you're looking at them. Same as chips. A lot of chips are very high in salt and fat. So you want to try and find healthier alternatives. One thing you could like, it could be rather a rice-based chip, yeah. rather than something that's been deep fried. Absolutely. But whenever you're trying to choose snacks for your children, make sure you check the labels. Sometimes it can be hard to find nutritious snacks for your children. Yeah, true. Fruit cups are a good way to go. And there's quite a few varieties now. You've got ones in jelly, you've got different flavours, and they're great. Especially during winter when our fruit can, can become very expensive to buy. Good for lunches. Awesome. Great. Check them in there. Not just for kids though, bro. They're also good for adults. Okay, tin fruit is a great way to increase the amount of fruit that we're getting in our diet. It's cheap, it's available all year, and it's just as, just as nutritious as fresh. Well, ideally we want to have fruit that is in light syrup or natural juice to try and decrease the amount of sugar. True. Seasonal vegetables can be really expensive. Here's a good way to put vegetables into your diet cheaply, okay? Mixed veggies are a great way to fill out a meal. Here's the last of it, Craig. Awesome, bro. Well, nice. second time around, we're looking a lot better. Yeah, looking better already, eh? We've got a lot more stuff going into this bottom basket where most of our food should be coming from. Hang on, I've got some fruit and vegetables in a tin here. Um, they any good? Yeah, great, mate. As long as when you're looking at your fruit, they are low in, low in sugar. So try and yep. choose ones that are either a natural juice or light syrup. Yep, cool. Sweet, another vegetable there in a can. Tin should go up here. Should be eating it moderately. Also, bro, beans, meat alternative. Goes in the middle. What we got here? Fruit. These are good for the kids, eh? Something a little bit different, fruit and jelly. Not too bad for you. Yeah, how's the sugar content right? It's nice, it's quite low. Cool. More fruit and vegetables in the can. Great for when uh, fruit's out of season, eh? You just go, and go to the tin section and you've got yourself a serving of fruit and vegetables. For Definitely the very cheap. Vegetables cheap all year round. We've got some muesli here. It's hard to say how good it is for us so it doesn't have a nutrition label. So if you guys are going to buy products in bulk, make sure you read the nutrition labels to make sure they're low in fat, sugar and salt. Because we don't know any better, we'll put it up here just to be safe. Cool. Okay, we've got some milk products here. If you'll notice, we've got the yellow and the green. These are lower fat options, so they're better for you. This one here's got extra calcium there for added protection and bone growth. Earlier we were talking about butter being up, up in the top row because it was high in saturated fat. Here's a product that's uh, probably a lot better for us. Um, any sort of margarine would recommend because it is lower in saturated fat and higher in other essential fats. However, do you recommend that we should be eating a lot of that kind of stuff anyway? No, I mean, a spread is not a food group. If we're going to have spreads, we want to have very small amounts of them. The reason we don't like saturated fat is because it's the one that blocks up our arteries and leads to a lot of our people dying from heart disease. So we need to put that at the top. Okay. Here's one of the kids' favourites, fruit twists. I mean, they got fruit in them, but it, I mean, should we be eating these every day? I don't think so. If we have a look at the label, very high in sugars, okay? Almost half of that is sugar. Hang on, bro, it's got to be good. It says 97% fat free. Don't be fooled, Craig. Read the food labels. Righto. Now, occasionally we're going to have to fry some foods powder. Yeah. Ideally, we would never fry stuff or we'd steam it or grill it. But sometimes you do need to have it. Now, butter and lard are probably the worst things we can have because they're very high in saturated fat. To get around this, we can use things such as olive oil, or olive oil or canola oil. These are much better for your health. In an effort to try and use even less oil, you can buy a spray. It makes it much easier and you usually don't use as much. Frozen vegetables are actually very good for us and hold the same amount of nutrient qualities as fresh fruit and veggies. So, eat lots of those.